gonna pull it with the bar down one. Six months in, I ain't once. Try and tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She says she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that C. Some kind of self-control Look inside my head through a telescope You were raised so the calls from a telephone No sense of smile, maybe tell a joke Holding back your tears, singing minimal Syllables, yeah Look at me, out the asylum Was a fate or mistake, cause the time ain't up Yet a part of my mind don't get much love If you want in my head, come and call me up You look like a twisted Robin Hood Yeah, you take from the rich and the poor and us Wearing diamond shoes where you walk your pubs In a town you could rate where there ain't no love I drip out from the socket to a teacup, drink up, inside look when they peep us. Shoes us in the belly of the beast, but outside there's a war going on on your front lawn. Black hawk, see the red dawn horizon. Blind yet I'm wise and abiding by laws of attraction, my thoughts still rising. Thank you. What type of knowledge don't sink in? Life gives you limits and my only thought is drinking. Thirsty, will I be alive or dead before 30? This all that concerns me early. Lemonade quenching my inner rage when it takes to the stage way before they pouring on my grave. Been it made, let it set my soul ablaze. On each and every way, put me in the water. For the save. They don't know my name. I get through the pain. They sit on my face like it's lemonade. Tie me up in chains. I get through the pain. They sit on my face like it's lemonade. They don't know my name. I get through the pain. They sit on my face like it's lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade. Tie me up in chains. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Arizona Cardinals and the Carolina Panthers. Ended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. 
He finds an opening past the 40. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. 16 yards, a first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Murray gets this one to Isabella, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. A well-executed 22-yard gain. A gain of 22 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. That's a corner that got in there for the sack. Dante Jackson and their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. <laughs> Throwing on second and long. Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. From the gun, Murray. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the gun, it's Drake. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Arizona. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kenyon Drake, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Makes the Gonzalez good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Zane Gonzalez to kick off for Arizona. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. Play action. Love to throw. He'll have a first down past the 40. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. A good pick up there to 22. And at the 50-yard line. Carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. 
Number he was brought down by Kamu Grugier Hill. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Play fake. Here's Love. Over the middle, complete. That's Andrews. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. The tackle was by the Boston College product, Harold Landry. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. to throw now. Here's Love. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And that gets them three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. And goal at the six-yard line. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Working out of the gun. Love. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Out of the shotgun, it's Love. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. A 23-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal, so, hey, if you guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football, but, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Brings up second and seven. Oh, 
on second down. It's Drake, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. the gun on third down Murray he rifles one that's intercepted picked off by Casey Hayward you gotta know as a quarterback that's gonna be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield he's been at it 11 years now so he knows all the ins and outs of the position and he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception from the 13 now they work on first and 10 following the interception love and he's got his man, it's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Panthers have taken the lead. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score, Panthers 10, Cardinals 7. Joey slide now to kick off after the touchdown. No return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Going deep for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Shotgun now for Murray. Escapes the sack. Big loss here as he's taken down. Derek Brown in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Five brings up second and five at the 50-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now an option play on second down. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. You think about it, Charles. This is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. He always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. 46-yard line. At 
after the loss to start out. Here's second and 11. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little, a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. It's McCaffrey. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Love from the gun. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown to this first half, a second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Harold Landry in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. Brings up second and seven at the five-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throw complete out to Isabella. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. The Cardinals on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. Here's Murray back near his goal line. He loses four, and it brings up four. Three and out. Fourth down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. Westbrook now on the return. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. On first down, this is McCaffrey. 
Number 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now it's second and nine. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Brings up third and six. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback at their own 20-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big... Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Dante Jackson picks it, and he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. And remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled at the, well, the end of all that hitting and hollering. It was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal... Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now the pass and it's into the arms of Hopkins. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First down, Murray. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Troy Pride. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments or the backup may see some time. And incomplete, an excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. 
at the 40-yard line. Throwing again. Love. He's going to look deep for more. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point right down the middle, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He was trying to get it to his tight end, David Njoku, and that'll bring up second down. To throw again, Murray. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Andy Isabella was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. From the gun, Murray able to find Isabella. The 30, the 20. Do what we do. And he do what is we... into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Andy Isabella. Andy Isabella Arizona. in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. Well, this could be a big turnaround. They get the touchdown here in the final moments of the second quarter. And remember, Charles, they're going to get the ball to start quarter number three as well. So what you're saying is if they take the ball down to start the second half, and score again, it could change the entire complexion of this game, couldn't it? Absolutely. Let's take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think it is. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second down, long. Well, the pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. Harold Landry, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Ready, set. 
Third and long for Love. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Harold Landry in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. To me, the defense is looking a little gassed near the end of the first half, but they've come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step. Wonder what they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Cardinals, great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. On first down, Drake. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Operating from the gun, Murray. And his throw is incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for, and it's third down. With that matchup, the adjustment that was made, you have a blazing guy on a blazing guy, and defensively, he won that battle. The closing speed is the key. When you have a guy that fast, and he can close at the end of a play and knock it away, that's a big deal, and we just saw him do it right there. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. <laughs> Throwing is Murray on third down. And able to find Kirk complete. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Christian Kirk, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. Cardinals 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second and three at the 32-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This is McCaffrey. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. I think you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep him to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there, first down. down at the 48-yard line. Here's Love. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. They go quickly here out to Moore, and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. 
When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. Throwing on third and long. Love. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Chandler Jones able to record his fifth sack of the season. I like how they started the third quarter here. They forced a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Murray, a give. This is Drake. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now on first down, Drake again. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it. Caught left side, Hopkins. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 11 yards there, first down. Cardinals. Running from the shotgun with Drake. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Tackle made by K1 Short. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. about four here down to the 43 yard line when you find that kind of yardage you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier and guess what you're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator I'd like to keep carrying it thank you so third and two this quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped from the gun Murray Buying time to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Yitor Gross Matos make that now eight sacks for him on the season. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's on Coleccio Semele, the guard. McCaffrey following the penalty. Able to break the tackle, but then quickly brought down just outside of the five. Brought down. And only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second down. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the And that is gonna do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Second and 11. Throwing. Love. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. He's going to have the first down past the 20. And they will finally get him down at the 28. 22 yards there, a first down. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. On the carry. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. The sack by big number 98, Linval Joseph. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Operating from the gun. Love. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 40, and they will score. It's a pick for the Cardinals touchdown. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Makes the score Cardinals 28, Panthers 24. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this carries into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth-quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him made. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. What you got, Give me some. Give me some. 
Love now. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Love, they go play action now. He's got a man on the crossing route, that's Moore. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm gonna keep firing. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Second and three. Play action. Now it's Murray. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Yitor Gross Matos in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Third. That last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. From the gun, Murray. And a throw there going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. On second down, McCaffrey. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. At the 48-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From the gun, Love. He's gonna drop this down to McCaffrey. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the shotgun to McCaffrey, and he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack, because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. 
So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now he'll escape to his left. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Here's Love. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. And he knocks it through. Makes the score, Panthers 31. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball when the pitch... And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. The, tackle the Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts the tackle as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Love. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Set him back five yards. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. This is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Second and goal at the eight-yard line. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. delay here as they come up again on second and goal down to a knee here the defense still with a couple of timeouts we'll see if they want to use them and now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards check 
And they will take a knee here. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they can pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises, really both sides did, but they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got